guys, um, Viking Eagle review. Okay, I'm going to be reviewing a beer that was kindly sent down to me by um, Ewan at Harveston. And um, it is in their Olive Dub range, which I believe I've already re reviewed, I think it was the 16 or something like that, or the very early one. And this is the um, Olive Dub 21 Special Reserve. Which is, which is aged in oak casks, formerly used to mature Highland Park's beautifully balanced 21 year old single malt scotch whiskey. Okay, so that's what it looks like, and it comes in at 8%. So it's not a massive, massive barrel aged beer, but you know, it's pretty hefty. It comes in the lovely bottle with the, um, the wrapping and the little leaflet. So it's all really look, very classy looking. So let's get that off. Underneath, you got the uh, the uh, original Harveston crown with Harvey the mouse. So let's get this cracked. I need to sort of um, since I've done the channel because I got rid of a lot of my beer glasses, so I've had to stick to um, my pint glasses. I've got a Bristol Beer Factory one, but I need to get some snifters and stuff. So I apologise for the incorrect use of glassware. <laughs> So let's get this poured. Okay, so yeah, as always, these beers are very viscous, um, very thick looking. I believe they're bottle conditioned. So as you can see, that is pitch black. There's a slight sort of coffee head, but it's very, very thin. Okay, so let's get a nose on it. Wow, you can smell that. I could smell that as soon as I was pouring it. You're getting a, a big waft of that um, sweet sort of wood smell uh, combined with like a cola bean. Excuse me. Um, a bit of vanilla. And you're getting the chocolate as well. Not so much um, coffee notes or anything like that. Uh, mostly sort of sweet wood, which is obviously coming from the, the whiskey cask. A nice sweet chocolate. That sort of, um, it's almost like, it is like a sweet sort of cola cube or something like that. That sort of sweetness coming through as well. And, um, and a very, very mild smoke. Really, 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 really mild. But it smells like a nice, big, hefty beer. It smells like it's going to have a bit of alcohol in it as well. Um, so let's give it a go. Cheers, guys. Cheers, everyone at Harveston. Thank you very much. Mmm, that is nice. Okay, body wise, it's about medium. It's not as thick as like a an imperial stout or something like that. Mild sort of carbonation, tiny bit zingy, but that barrel wage in is just big time on your tongue. It's a big wallop of it, so you're getting a lovely combination of dark coffee even though I couldn't uh, get it on the nose you definitely get it on the taste it's like a very dark sort of rich coffee combined with a very mild almost creamy uh, sweetness which is just um, wrapped up in it which just makes it really really tasty then you're getting the um, the woody notes almost on the sides of the tongue almost combined with like a like a treacle toffee or something like that you get like a treacle toffee note on the sides of the tongue and um, and it and it does linger. It lingers and lingers, but it fades into like an earthy bitterness. Um, even though the body's medium, it just it does hang around for quite a while. So it's a really really nice sipper as well. You can sort of easily just sit and sip this. The head's completely disappeared. There is still carbonation in it, but not 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 an intrusive carbonation to like mess up those flavours. That's really good. That's quite chilled as well. I usually like them a bit chilled and then let them warm up. But even even chilled, it's got huge flavour. It really, really has. So I can imagine this being even better, like the warmer it gets. So, and for an eight percent, it tastes. It does taste like an eight percent beer. 
that's not in a bad way at all there's no real alcohol burn it's just nice big flavors exactly what you want um rating wise nine and a half nine and a half out of ten easily um in fact i think you know what fuck it I'm, excuse my language i'm gonna <laughs> Oh, I'm back. <laughs> 10 out of 10. That is a really, really nice beer. Definitely want to buy again. Or, or I didn't buy it the first time, but if I see it, I will buy it. Because I do love my dubs and I like uh, having them at Christmas time. So, get on to Harveston. Check them out. I, think they're, I don't think they're too expensive this time around. So, have a look at the Reserve 21s. And, uh, and get yourself some. Treat yourself, because they're really, really nice. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, another camera angle, as always. And uh, hopefully I'll settle on one soon. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you again soon for another Viking Hour review. Cheers!